Hey, Dominic wants to say hello to you. Oh, boy. What? What, what's up, Dominic? Doesn't AJ sound like Hill now? Hill who? Henry Hill. Henry Hill? No. The voices. I want you to listen to Kate. You saw H and R puppet stuff. How you like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know why. I just uh, I'm up. I'm up. Do the math. I'm up. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> That's it. Listen. I didn't go to bed and set my alarm. I, I, I don't know what's going on with you guys. What's that? Who's banging who in your show? I, you know. Hey Dominic, what happened with you at the diner the other day? This guy. <laughs> Did you hear that phone call from the guy? Yeah. What was he going on? Well. You want to talk about it? Wow. Yeah, I will. Talk about it. I had the surgery. Yeah, he's ten, now he's finally revealing it. He I've been, had what, it already. I've been, you know what? Yeah. He had the surgery. When? He did it over the weekend. No, That's last week. Fr last week. So he's not, okay. So not since I've seen him last. And and he's at a diner. Here's what kills me. Here's what kills me. No, I had I had no. You know what? You don't have to worry where I am. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. I'm not eating anything. <laughs> well, here's my here's. My, you got to hear this one. AJ, you got to hear this. So, I said to Dominic, Dominic calls me up and says, I'm going in for the surgery. What surgery? The stomach, the, the stomach, stomach surgery. Uh, what did you get? A band? A yeah. resection? Or what? I had at Lenox Hill Hospital Dr. Gurian. And G U R I A N. She's fabulous. She gave the band, and I did it 12 days ago. All right. So, he does it. He says, swears to me. He goes, you better not tell anyone, please. I'm, I'm just confiding in you. I, I, I'm doing this for my health, you know, because I've gotten heavy. Well, I didn't want you to say it before I went in. Oh, okay. If so I... I'm keeping it quiet. Meanwhile, I'm getting calls. Or he told everybody uh, uh, else. All of a sudden, uh, Wayne Siegel's on the phone to me. He goes, hey, did you hear what Dominic did? I go, what did he do? He goes, he got his stomach, uh, you know, stapled or whatever. So no, I go, no, no. I didn't tell Wayne. He called the office. Yeah. And they thought he knew. Well, I told uh, uh, very few people. You're telling everyone. Listen to me. His face is on the on the building of the Swing Line building. Of course he got Ah, uh, very funny. Of <laughs> course he got stapled. Yeah, how cool. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, Dominic. Yeah. What happened? You went and then Dominic had a horrible situation like where. Carney Wilson surgery. Yeah, Carney Wilson, the exact same oh, thing. Oh my God. So, wait, can you imagine a thin Dominic? He's going to be impossible to deal with. Because Sharon got the banding. Yeah, this is the same uh, broad who did um, Al Roker's operation. Okay. My boy's yeah, Go ahead. Go ahead. And, and I have to tell you, she's, any, she's about 37 years old. She's the most brilliant. Uh, the only per Is she a fan of AJ? What's that? Who is she? <laughs> Will AJ bang her? No, this is a wonderful lady. I never make a joke. She's right. just incredible. Okay. Well, anyway, so Dominic goes in. For the uh, operation. Yeah. And I guess uh, it usually takes about 45 minutes. Dominic's took three hours because yeah, they... They couldn't even find his stomach. But, well, yeah, they cut the muscle by accident because, you know, who, he's got so much no, blood. No, no, no. What happened was, at that moment, um, I was diabetic. Which, by the way, would you like to know my sugar five minutes ago till I called you? Yeah. A hundred. What does that mean? Listen, Del Molino called. Your table's ready for Friday, Dominic, by the way. <laughs> What'd you say? Del Molino called. Your table's ready for Friday. Yeah, El Molino. He ain't going to know El Molino. Yeah, he can't. Oh, I want to go out with Dominic <laughs> now. So I said to Dominic, I, you know, I, I called him before the operation. I was concerned about the guy. I was worried. Sure. Because you mean you love me? Well, what happened? They cut, they cut, they cut the muscle, right? Oh. What happened, Don? Nah, there's nothing. Listen, it was. Wait you know who went through the worst part of this? Leslie. She was there, and and you know me, I'm an impossible person, and it was uh, just. Well, that was just the, the women you're with like to watch or know about that surgery. That seems very masked. I I just thought. Oh, he's got, but Dominic has a problem, AJ. Right, he's got to do it. But yeah. let me ask you something. I fought him for it, but the woman knowing about it can't be hot. Yeah, yeah he's like... got a wife. What's he going to do? Yeah, she's going to get suspicious when he loses 500 pounds. <laughs> AJ, some of us can have relationships with women that last. Oh, yeah, I know. You're right. You know, some some of us. Us. Dominic, how many times have you been divorced? Yeah, really. Times. I think oh, you right. and AJ have the same boat. Dominic's been divorced three <laughs> times. I hope you stay with the headboard. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you that... It is a wonderful process. Right, well, wait, 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 wait. But wait a minute, I need let me to tell the whole story. Get, get AJ off. I don't want, uh, we'll, no, I'm not hanging up. Hey, AJ, right let me interview no, him. I'm not hanging up. What are you going to stop me? I'll come to the building and light it on fire. Right, yeah. I tell you what, hey, Dominic, would you hold on through the commercials because i got to take a break? I'll call you back. Say goodbye to AJ. Oh, you know what? You fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dominic, call me right back. I will. Bye-bye. All right, bye. Um, AJ. Yeah, one. 
I got to go do a commercial break. I'm on, plug. I'm on Friday Night 6. I have a new show, Friday Night 6 on FX, starting this weekend. All right. Friday. Friday nights on FX. At... Yeah, I'm working again. I was going to stop robbing people with a ski mask, so watch it. <laughs> All right, thanks. Thanks, thanks AJ. AJ. I love you guys. Bye, Later. AJ. Bye. Bye. Yeah, well, I'll never get the. Yeah, I got a whole story for you about Dominic. Yeah, because I want to know how, I mean, to cut the muscle. I thought they did this, like, laparoscopically or something. No. I didn't know they had to uh, go make a whole incision. No, they went in through his big fat belly. Ooh. But wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you the whole story. All right. Because I'm keeping it quiet. I'm not even telling you. You're, yeah, you never said a. You didn't breathe a word. I'm very uh, di- disappointed. <laughs> no, oh, but that's <laughs> nice. You always tell me. You, you know I won't talk. You want to know I forgot? Oh, you. I swear, I'm so self centered. All right, we're going to be back right after these words. <laughs> You know, maybe if it was 12 o'clock on a Friday night and I'd been partying all night, I might think it was pretty funny, but not early in the morning. The Howard Stern Show. We're, oh, we're 15 minutes away from Naked Daredevil. Naked Daredevil. 15 minutes away from Naked Daredevil. Naked Daredevil. All right, Dominic. Go ahead. All right, now we can talk. Uh, I have to hear everything. Would you like to hear the whole thing? Go ahead. All right. I, 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 Leslie and I discussed this, and she was a little bit against it, but I wanted to have the surgery because I just was tired of being tired, actually. You know, the diabetes had gotten bad. Yeah, even, Artie, even Artie says that, like, when he went to eat with Dominic, and Dominic loves to eat, yeah. that, like, Dominic would, like, like, he, like, they went to get Italian ISIS together, and Dominic, it took him, like, ten minutes to get out of his car. Yeah. And little kids were laughing at him. I don't know about that, but it, it, got, it got out of hand. Yeah, Artie basically said, you know, Artie's like a drunk who's telling another drunk, man, you got a problem. Yeah, I mean. Now, I love Dominic, and I felt bad for Tell him. the fried clam story. I mean, when we ate, like, we're the same type of people. So we both ordered a lot of food, and we got we got ordered a fried clams, and there's, like, you know, four clams they bring in. Dominic would have like three of them and give me the last one. Say hey, you finished it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was out of control. But well, I actually, loved it. Actually, you ate three. I ate one, but I'm not counting. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> Dominic? Dominic loves food, yes. but has an obsession obsession with it. It's an addiction. Yeah. Well, so what happened was, um, I went and researched. Well, Leslie did. Leslie on the internet. <laughs> you spoke were too a lot tired. Of now, here's the extent of Dominic's research. He uh-huh. wants to get the stomach operation, so of course he sees how Roker got it. That's the research. Yeah, that's, no, that's the not research. True. He wanted went, a famous surgeon. Right. I went to, uh, the, as I said before, Dr. Curry and Dr. Roslin, which who are at Lenox Hill Hospital. There's a six month wait, and I actually waited about two months. And I went in, and but well, you also you had to have tests to make sure you qualify for uh, yeah, it. Yeah, I went through I went through more tests than you can imagine. It was horrible. And now, how come you didn't get how come you didn't get your stomach stapled? How come you got a ring around your stomach? I got the band because I did, you know that's what I felt was best for me under the circumstances. And it is surgery. You go in, but it's done laparoscopically. Is that laparoscopically? It? Yeah. Yeah. All and his research, he still can't say laparoscopically. Well, <laughs> you know, now you're supposed to <clears throat> the first meeting you go for. Uh, it, you go for what's like a lecture, and they sit you around a room. There's about, oh, 12, 15 people, and I'm telling you, I was the smallest buffalo there uh, by far. It's got to be a crowded room. <laughs> You're the runt of the litter. <laughs> I, I was, and I, and they were all sitting around waiting for the doctor. So I looked to the group. Of course, Dominic thinks he's better than all the other oh, fat no. people. I do not. No, but I did make a joke. I'm I said, much you know, better than you. I'm much more svelte than you. I don't need yeah. to be here. I barely need this. I said to the group, you know, while we're waiting, they could give us something to notch on. <laughs> <laughs> a little pretzel. All like right, so Dominic had said to me, I went to dinner with him over the weekend, and he said, I'm thinking two about, ago. two weekends ago, I'm thinking about doing it, but he wasn't, like, real serious about it. I didn't know he had gone this far about it. Right. I told you he had mentioned it some time ago, and I thought he was just kidding around. Well, then he told me, he called, he spoke to me, he said, I got to go do it. He goes, it's out of control. My he- my st- my quality of life is down. Right. My my diabetes, my blah, 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 blah. Well, you know, and I, said, I have well, very I guess... few friends in this world. We all know that, Leslie, my kids. And I call Howard up, and I tell him about it. He's very sweet. I have to tell you. He and Beth have been incredible to me since I've had the surgery. Calling, calling the hot, really nice. So I was going to send him a big bag of Fritos when he got out of surgery. I was about to tell that. Let me tell him. All right, go ahead. So, you know, I figure, you know, he's going to send me something. It's going to be nice fruit. He'll send me something to, you know, just a little something maybe I can have. Right. He sends me a cake made out of flowers. 
Because you can't eat the cake. It's gorgeous. Oh, a flour cake. Oh, a real flour. Yeah, real flour. I was going to send like a big pizza. Uh-huh. So, yeah, you know, manja. <laughs> manja. But I, I figured that's, you know. The week before the surgery, the week before, the night before the surgery, um, Leslie and I, uh, we have to go to the city. So. Were you scared? I, scared isn't the word. But what happens is. Did you go out and have a big meal? No. <laughs> yes, he did. did. better. No, you couldn't do that. I drove to ten restaurants to wave goodbye. Uh, the farewell <laughs> tour. <laughs> what are you going to do about, like, El Molino and all those? Uh, well, you know, all of them. Like, Palmer, what can you... Chris, uh, Classical, they're all... Well, the bands. Be clean. Two, you six, kidding me? Two for one? I, I once went... Uh, when I was married, I was with my wife, and we walk into an Italian restaurant. Who's sitting there, Dominic? He goes, oh, join us. We sit down. He had already ordered, just for him and his uh-huh. wife. And there was enough food for everybody. There was sausages and like like pasta dishes like you never saw. And I'm like, oh, my God, this guy was going to devour this all, all on his himself. own. Yeah. And, of course, when I was sitting there eating, he, he suddenly lost his appetite. He goes, right. I, you know, I'm really not hungry. But he brought it all home and right. ate it. So the, um, you would uh, never eat in front of me. I was supposed to stay home two weeks. I went to work after four days, you know. But wait a minute. You didn't, you skipped the surgery. What happened? Yeah, what happened? Well, first of all, the, the, when we get there for the surgery, everyone's making comments, you know. Oh, look who's here. You know, what are you, wild boy. And I got a little nervous first because Leslie came in, and you know how, you like, you hold the Bible? She had, like, five insurance policy in her hand. <laughs> no, what happened was it was evidently some complications where they cut into his no, no, fat. No, it wasn't the doctor's fault. I didn't say it was their fault. It, it, you're but big if and fat. A, if it's a laparoscope, you don't even make a big cut. What is no. this? Now, they make five little holes in your stomach to put the band in. Uh-huh. And uh, because of the, I had not, now my sugar's normal. And um, the diabetes is under control. I'm off medication already. Right. Wow. Uh, which is amazing. Because um, you don't eat. Because your you're, you're, um, whatever, the, the islands of Langerhans are getting a rest. He was, it, first of all, the doctor said it was like operating on a whale. Um, oh, please, I've seen would. these operations. She thought that, she said it was, it's, it's easier to get a, a whale back into the ocean. You know what they had to send out for? A larger laparoscope <laughs> you, because they couldn't get through. Did the doctor see you naked? Well, not only did she see me naked, but she's wonderful. I, I can't tell you how great these doctors are. Did the, they have to shave you? Yeah, they did. They shaved your pubes? No, but the last thing I said to her, making a joke, I said to her, you know, now that I've, after I, you know, was done with the surgery and you go back for checkup twice already, I said to her one day, you know, can you do a transplant for me? You know, a certain part of me, I'd like to, you know. Your penis. So she said to me, oh, will you stop talking about that? When you lose all your weight, you will look that small. Oh. <laughs> she saw him. He's got nothing. That's so bad. Oh, did that hurt? Mm. Uh. Tell about the specialist they had to call in from SeaWorld. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Benji, you, Benji, you write one more joke like that. That wasn't Benji. All right, anyway, so... Um, so I'm supposed to stay out of work two weeks. I went back here for five days. But how did they make for... this mistake and cut something? Listen, I have 15 lawyers. We have the largest divorce in criminal practice. Still in New York, and we're doing wonderful, of course. Now, let me ask the question. <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> I know, a plug? I don't know. Anyway, so, I okay. A plug. So, all, you know, you know what? There probably was the operation went fine, but there had to be all this drama around right, Dominic. Right. We you almost lost him. Um... Oh, is that what we're hearing? Now, I yeah. want to ask you all, should I do something that's been offered to me? Ready? What's that? Bally's wants to train me. Well, not now. You, you're, you're not going to eat. You've got to recover. Oh, no, 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 no. He, he will be exer- a saggy mess if I he doesn't I can start exercising in, in 12 days from now. All right, let me ask you something. Should I do it with Bally's? So yeah. now that... Yeah, yeah, of course. So now that you've... It's got to be the right number. So now that you've gotten right the number. stomach ring on... Yes. What, like, wh- have you eaten anything? Yes. What uh, do you eat? There's a process to the, uh, to the learning how to eat again. But the beginning of it, the beginning of, of it is, um, which I laughed at someone saw me coming from a diner. I went to a diner yesterday for breakfast just to kind of get the feeling. <laughs> no, and um, I had scrambled eggs with cottage cheese, and I had four tablespoons, and I could not eat another bit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, my God, really? And then you, like, what happens? Do you start to get nauseous? You, you just can't eat anymore. You cannot, you can't look at food. 
Wow. And no. lunch was, it's got to be awesome because if a fat slob like Al Roker could be skinny now, you, you real, I mean, it must be nauseating to even look at food. Now, lunch was a protein drink. And Who told you lunch, to eat that? Uh, sorry? Who told you to eat a protein drink? Well, you, get a, you have a dietician they give you. Well, Dominic said to me, he goes, some people are so sick. Oh, he's that, commenting yeah, on yeah, the other thing, That they drink milkshakes to get around... The band. Well, the band, and they gain weight. Or oh, sugar water. Yeah. Sugar water? Imagine going through all that. And yeah. drinking sugar water? You could, No, I don't. But people who want to defeat this, let's say you really whacked. And you, I mean, I've already lost a tremendous amount of weight because 10 days before the diet, I had to go on almost a protein fast. So, so how much have you lost so far? Well, I don't want to say. Say it. 30 pounds. Wow. And Is that true? How many yeah, days? You'll see me Saturday, yeah. 30 pounds. Yeah. And my wow. suits, are, I need it to go to the next size. Uh, well, you know, I have a wardrobe. That's a shock. You know what the shock is? What? That I'm seeing you Saturday. I have no plans to see you Saturday. What are you oh, talking about, that's Saturday? Plans for Saturday. Yeah, you know. good. I have many plans. Oh, okay. Then I won't see you. For dinner, what? So you could eat your spoonful of cottage oh, cheese? That's going to be so much fun. you got to do it. Let's bust your ring. Let's go out and eat a real meal. Wait, so milkshakes can, Dominic, if you have a milkshake, it doesn't affect the ring? It'll just no, no, right. no. It, you, what, you, obviously, if, a ring makes, it, it, from what this Dr. Curry has explained to me, and she's explained, she, again, I'm in love with her. She's wonderful. She's great. Uh, <clears throat> you have to see people in this, there that have had the surgery, like they have back for checkups, and you'll meet a guy, and he'll shake your hand, and say, hey, I'm, you know, I know you uh, really like listening. And I said, oh, great, thank you. He says, I said, how much did you lose? He says, well, I'm not sure, but I think it's 280 so far. Wow. And you'll look at this guy, and he's absolutely normal. Yeah, you can't wait, huh? Well, how you much know does what? Dominic have to lose? I hate this because I'm thin and I work so hard at it. I hate that people get a ring and they're allowed to. I, I like that there are fat people that have no self-control. Well, could you imagine, and I'm not saying it's going to happen because maybe God won't allow it, but if it do... I get down to like 200 hours yeah. with my hair and face. Oh, then you're going to be a lover boy. Uh, I'm so. You know what, Dominic? I'm still relying on the saggy skin for you. <laughs> well, after surgery, I'll do that. Next. Well, we'll see. Poor Leslie, now you're going to live for a while. Oh, she was so <laughs> hoping to be out of <laughs> She it. was almost uh, done with you. Leslie, <laughs> Leslie was wonderful. You want to speak to her? She was through No, I, I want to speak to you. Let's take a couple but of phone calls. How much does he have to lose? Like 200 or I have something? to lose 70 pounds. I was 298. I'll admit it now. You were more than 298. I was not. Oh, that's a lie. We, we wager you over 300. Here you go. Ready? It, Leslie, help. How much did he weigh now? I have not. <laughs> 290. He should only have weighed 290. Howard, yeah. most guys won't do this surgery unless you're at least 100 pounds overweight. You have to be like really obese. That's not true anymore. They're saying what? now they've lowered it to 75. Really? Yeah, no. yeah it's becoming a I big it's thing. about 100 pounds overweight. Yeah. He's about 100 pounds overweight. I wonder what it's going to be like married to a thin Dominic. He Maybe he was... she only loved the fat one. Yeah. That, you... that could be. You think he could love a thin Dominic? I love the fat Dominic. Sure, now maybe you'll maybe you'll hate the thin Dominic. Yeah, you might not like him. You know, Dominic's right too. He's got a beautiful head of hair. He does have nice hair. <laughs> he really does. Dominic thinks that he's gonna be, you know, like he's gonna be thin and he's gonna be gorgeous. He probably, never told me he was overweight. Because we've always said for years, gee, if Dominic lost weight, he'd probably be handsome. Meanwhile, we're gonna see he's gonna get skinny. He's gonna look bizarre. <laughs> yeah, but that's something you say to fat people to make them feel better. Right. Like uh, I got. You have a beautiful face. Well, I got like my mother will say to me, oh, if you were only like 150, you'd really be. Good looking. You remember being 150. You were still ugly, right? Yeah, yeah well, I was 150. I remember the ninth grade. I didn't have broads dropping all over me. Then. Dominic <laughs> thinks he's going to be Anto Antonio he's Banderas. Gonna, yeah, he's going to be in the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leslie, let me speak to that uh, formerly fat person. Formerly fat person. Has, has he really lost 30 pounds? He's lost a lot of weight. Does he look better? Yeah, he looks well, actually. Is he moving better? Everything better? Did you bang, did he bang you? Is he, is he able to bang you without Viagra now? Oh. <laughs> Let's take a couple of phone calls for Dominic. Everyone's suddenly interested in you. Uh, Joe, go ahead. Oh, you're in that much need of a ring. Why don't you go get a Prince Albert? Okay. Whatever that means. Uh, Russ, go ahead. How you doing, Howard? I'm wondering if any of these restaurants he normally went to are going to file for Chapter 11. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but the uh, stock market, Krispy Kreme, got three points. <laughs> Andy, go ahead. 
What's up, Howard? I don't understand why this guy can't do it the right way, but hey, Dominic, yeah. you look like one of those people that got caught like in a tiny little inner tube when you jump through it, around, stuck around your waist, you can't get it off. Well, not anymore. No. He's gonna. No. You know, he's gonna. No, the loss. Actually, the, the weight comes off almost all over your body equally. But you asked an interesting question about. But all my life, I've been to every place you could think of, and I'm being serious. I've been to Duke. I went to um, I didn't know Weight you'd Watchers. Been there. Yep. I went to. I used to take amphetamines when I was young. Wow. And I'm like every other. You know, two thirds of America is now overweight. And the tragedy of it all is that everyone says, "Well, you know, like Howard says, it's willpower, emotions." Yes. But it's not true. <laughs> I've been to psychiatrists, and how come when I went on Fenton? And I took that. I lost 60 pounds. I used to be perfect on my diet. That didn't make my father love me more or my mother love me more. No, 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 no. But here's it's the point. Emotions. Food it's, gives it's you wrong. food gives you an emotional yeah, high. You got yes. something out of it. Yeah, it was your it was your lover. And uh, let me tell you something. You still have not resolved the issues that you have around food. You got a band. And other things. You got a band that's going to control you. And it's kind of sad because, really, what I worry about with people who get this band is that when they go and they lose the weight and then they want to exercise and have the energy to do things, they can't even eat enough food to fuel themselves. Oh, no, 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 please. No, 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 no. After, after three weeks, I start to go on one type of uh, plan, and then after three months, you're supposed to lose 10 to 12 pounds a month until your normal weight. And then you're eating like a, like a, a regular person, but... You I could have done it. You could have taught yourself not to eat, but... No, you know what? I you... don't think Donna could, because you don't understand the forces that were pulling at Well, because... No. It was Thank physiological you, at this point. Listen, right. remember when he didn't believe in psychiatry? And right, none right. Of it. Remember when he didn't believe you could have a drink, you can't drink, and right. you're weak if you drink? It's where he is at the moment. Absolutely. Just because he can do it doesn't mean everybody. Yeah, and by the way, starving himself the way he does and... and oh, know, starving myself. Uh -huh. I eat plenty. I eat five everybody times a day. Howard eat. Howard looks like an eating machine. I, no, eat, I, I eat tons. No. I just don't eat all the crap you eat. No. Howard, your mom and dad are not overweight. My mother died of diabetes at the age of 70. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 yourself. What's the point Listen. of that? All right, so now you have... Yeah, so what does that mean? You should have not eaten. You should have been turned no, off to eat. No, that's, that's, that, I believe this what's called a preset weight. And it's not because I'm weak or I get up early as you do, go to work all day long, built this business, successful as I am, and I needed something that controlled me. And I'm very happy I did it. And I'm so happy I did it. Ross, go ahead. Your other friend, Ross. Uh, yeah, I want to know what's the difference between the uh, between what Dominic got with the ring and the, and what's the difference between the gastro bypass? Very good. There's three things that can be done, and I don't mean to speak for Dr. Curry and yet to call her, but there is the gastric bypass, which is they take away part of your stomach. There is the ring where they put a ring around you and you make it tighter and tighter, and it's been. It's only been approved for two years in the United States, but it's 700,000 have been done worldwide. And then there's the third type where they cut half your stomach away. Uh, the My thing is the least intrusive, but if it doesn't work for me, and so far it is, I will do the bypass. Well, let me ask you something. You say they make it tighter and tighter. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. There's How do they do that? There's a what's called a porthole under your skin, and they add saline to it, which tightens it. And it makes the stomach again smaller as you lose more weight. Wow. wow. And I and Leslie taught me all this. Ellen, you're on the air. Ellen. Yes. You're on the air. Oh, okay. Hi. Dominic? Oh. Yes, Ellen. Um, I had open R and Y about almost three years ago now. Open and I had the same gastric bypass surgery. Okay, okay. Okay. And you know, right now you're eating these tiny little bits and you can't eat anymore. And that's all great because, you know, everybody says we did it the easy way. Okay? It's not the easy way. What it is, it's a wonderful tool to help us later after we lose the weight to maintain and to live a healthier lifestyle. And it's very true what you just said before about the fact that, you know, they operate on our on our bodies, not on our minds. Oh, please. If you guys are congratulating yourselves on losing weight with a ring around your stomach, I don't want to hear it. How dare you? How dare you? What did you say, Howard? I said if you're congratulating yourself for losing weight with a stomach around, that doesn't require any willpower. You can put a stomach ring around you. Yeah, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. Congratulate yourself if you lose weight the old-fashioned way by limiting your portions. 
Yeah, but this is a tool to help us. All right, that. but don't congratulate yourself. Okay, what? so I want them to keep you must walking be around and leaning on the health system because they're yes. so ill. That's yes, how much, that's how much what I want. Oh, okay. How much did you lose? I've lost 140, and I've kept off 130. That's great. But it's only through, you know, now I have to really watch everything I eat. I eat like a normal person today. Well, big deal. No, it ain't a big why deal. Why are you <laughs> that way? You know, I you know sure. what, Howard? You don't realize this is the, the, the same as a heroin addict getting off of heroin. Thank you. Thank you. So what? You're, you're so much more human than him. I Thank wish you. his mother would call him in and straighten him out. <laughs> oh, please. You're kidding me. My mother, my mother, my mother could have straightened you out. You wouldn't need no <laughs> ring around your stomach. It could be so self control. I, I have to tell you. I just can't wait to see you skinny. Well, that's going to be interesting. The, the Dominic real, will be running around in speedos. I mean, wonder if Dominic, and this will affect Dominic and Leslie's relationship, because she married this fat kind of guy. You know what? Dominic might become a playboy or something. Well, I'm predicting Dominic yeah, divorce be. number four. Yeah, yeah. in the First working. First of all, I've only been married three times, so if I got divorced four, that'd be difficult. <laughs> and secondly, I, the most important thing was the diabetes got under control, because you know what? You could have seen me without legs. Yeah. I like that. I would have thought that would be great. We would have had you on the show more. A blind, legless dog. <laughs> well, you know how great he could have been the new Beetlejuice. That's one now, way to lose you weight. Who, <laughs> me? What? Howard, you would have liked me without my legs and blind. Yes. <laughs> Chauncey, you're on the air. Hey, Howard, when we had that beauty contest, you know how much I weighed? How much? 215. I was so humiliated by that show that the next day I went out, I got jogging shoes, I jogged every morning. I changed my diet to chicken, fish, vegetables, and fruits. No, no junk, no fast food, no restaurants. That's all. I'm and 180 you still look now. Like Chauncey. <laughs> At the end of the day, you look like you. <laughs> Three months, 180. It does make people mad. I know. When you do it the old-fashioned way, it's just it does make it makes me mad. Chauncey, if I didn't have the operation, I could have looked like you. Thanks, I'd have the operation. <laughs> Joe, you're on the air. Cool, steak for two, Dominic. You're fat and you're lazy. That's the problem. Look at Al Roker. The same thing with him. Fat and lazy. These people, they don't want to diet. They don't want to eat healthy. Right now, what do they do? They go out to eat. They want to have steaks. They want to have mashed potatoes. They want to have all these heavy starch foods. And Man, then the they other, get fat. The other day, I went to a restaurant. They served me right. salmon with mashed potatoes. I left the mashed potatoes there. It wasn't easy. Right. Right. Now, this gentleman on the phone talking. Can I ask you a question, sir? Yes. Your mother and father, are they heavy? Nope. Guess what? That you'll never be happy. You don't even have blaming your mother and father. Oh, it's please. What, what does that have to do with it? Disposition thing. Oh, please. Really, Dominic, you can have the choice to take care of yourself. You choose to sit home and eat whatever oh, you want, have all these desserts, and go out and listen. Oh, no, steak for two for one. Steak for two for one. My friend, I have more willpower. I get up early and work harder than you ever will. And the choice was it is something that is so strong. And, and, and I'm Robin proud of you, Dominic. Example. I know what you were going through. Thank you, Robin. I love you. I'm not proud of him. Joe, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, can I have the extra part of Dominic's stomach to line my pool with? Yes. <laughs> uh, that's very nice. We're putting that on eBay. Yeah. Let's go to Jeremy, who wants to say something to Dominic. Go ahead, Jeremy. Hey, Dominic, I got no respect for this. When I came out of college, I was 5'6", 230 pounds, and I woke up one morning. I said, I don't want to be fat anymore. So I got on the treadmill, and I ran and ran and ran. And six years later, seven pounds, and it's through hard work, not through some stupid surgery. There you go. That's all I have to say about that. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you have a full head of hair? Honestly. Uh, yeah, I'm losing a little bit of it, but I... You got, you're lucky because you probably have extra testosterone. Whatever. All right. Whatever. <laughs> uh, whatever. Can I ask you a question? Were your, were your parents fat? Yes, my mother was very <laughs> Was your mother fat? You know what, though? Dominic didn't answer the question I had before about... I'm real curious. That's interesting to me about milkshakes. You can... You get this surgery, you have milkshakes, and you can still no, get no, away no, no. And, not get ha and not get full. No, well, Artie, what I was su suggesting is there's a way to beat the surgery if you right. want to destroy yourself. You right. Obviously, if you drink enough sugar water, you'll have... It, the calories will be such that you'll get under... You'll be beyond what you should be using in your body. I think that'd be some awfully heavy sugar water. I bet you Dominic figures out how to beat the system. I hope no, not. No, they tell you about this. You know, I love, I love you so dearly, how for all these years. And Rob Dominic is going to be back at El Molino. Oh, I know please it. Please don't Why save us. You know, I'm going to inject the spaghetti into my veins. Right into my veins. <laughs> off the air, off the air, you're so gentle and caring. What's the matter with you? Because why bother doing it off the air? i got to get paid on the air. <laughs> Stupid. All right.
right, listen, Dominic, I'm happy for you. I hope you you live a long life. I hope you're a surgeon. I can't wait to see the before and after. Yeah, but what's Dominic going to do now? He used to go out to dinner as a hobby. Well, now I just sit at home and pick my egg. <laughs> do, you, I, I, do you dream about food or anything? Are you thinking about it? Uh, well, I'll tell you something really strange, and it's absolutely the truth. I dreamed of food the other night. Isn't that strange? No. No. I sit out every night and I'm still eating. <laughs> All right, Dominic. Good luck. And there it is. He's coming out of the closet. Yeah. He had the surgery. The only negative thing, uh, I'll admit it, is I am wearing a dress now. <laughs> <laughs> how many, uh, like, how many, what's the prediction? Like, in how many months will we really start to see some real weight loss? Oh, you'll see it if we see each other this weekend. But, um. He says 10 pounds a month. It's so. 10 to 12 pounds a month. Wow. So in a couple of months, you really of, see it. Of, of my, I should end up about 2, 220. What did you eat for dinner last night? Uh, last night, I had a miso soup, M-I-S-O soup. Wow. That's <laughs> nothing. No, nope, that, that is it. that's not even Dominic wouldn't even order miso soup. But Dominic would have taken that and spilled it on the ground in the old days. That's what is nothing. miso soup? I don't want it's miso. A clear broth. It's it's like it's like chicken soup without the flavor. Yeah. Oh. It's like water, yellow pea water. And I and I had for dessert mm -hmm. a sugar free ice pop. It was delicious. Oh, you had dessert? Still with the dessert. Oh, you know what? He's you know what? He's gonna be fat again. You know it. Sugar-free uh, ice pop. Uh, well, you gotta have dessert. If you're eating miso soup, you might as well just have the sugar-free ice pop. Yeah, but right. You don't no, want to be rude. Uh, you want to have dessert <laughs> with your guests. Excuse me, but um, being the betting man that I am, would you all like to bet by January first? Oh no! I, I'm, I'm, with this ring, all bets are off. I mean, you, you, this is not. We're the, betting on a ring. We're betting on a ring, not you. If I can get a, if, if I we can, can remove the ring, I'll bet you'll be dead in a year. If I can get an honest weight, an honest number that you are right now, I'll bet you to make it interesting. Oh, I swear, I'll give you all the truth because I'm now not embarrassed to say it. I mean, I want, I know what I'll do. I started 298 and called my doctor up, Dr. Curran. Two, that's two, no way you were That's completely I naked. Swear, I'm not going to lie to you. It was 298. 298, you wait. I admit it. And I'm, I'm 270 and a half this morning. And I only, I'm going to put the scale away because it's too much to look at. I'm not interested. And by January 1st, I say I weigh 230 or less. And what weight will you get separated from your wife? I will never get separated. From I'll get separated from you first for being so mean. And what weight will you start dating? Don't, don't joke. I love love. We'll see. I well, I, here's my prediction. Forget about the weight. Let's bet on this. Right. I love betting on You're you betting married. that this is going to be the ruin. Dominic <laughs> is divorced within two years. No, really? That's my You're prediction. Gonna, I'll, I'll bet you. Fred, what do you two think? Two years? Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Two oh years. Oh, so good. Don't take the bet. You're going to lose. You know, what? you know what? That's a very mean thing. It's going to ruin his marriage. And I want to hear you say you're sorry. No. It's going to ruin your marriage. Poor In Leslie. In two years, he'll Howard, say he's sorry. Honey, I have you in a pound and I needed you. You know, Howard, this is the conversation two years from now. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you, at the time when you said it, I knew it was true. But I didn't want to I say didn't it. even want to think about it. Howard, but you know what? But I realized my sorry. eating was a sickness. And uh, and the, my I life is different now. Now I'm healthy, and I need a new healthy relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and now I realize a lot of my illness with eating was tied up in my relationships. And now I was, and she, she was, was in love with the enabling. old Dominic. I'm a different person. And now. I don't know that she really loved me. She loved my fat. <laughs> you know what? Dessert. I more likely would say. How could I all these years let you tease me all the time? Oh, and Howard, you lose, Dominic. And Howard. to break my relationship up with Howard, not Robin. And no, Howard, you Robin. have to understand, my mother was fat. Don't You're getting me mad, you jealous little boy. Here, wait. Here's Debbie. Debbie, tell us what happened. You had the surgery. Yeah, I had the what? surgery. And uh, so far, I've lost like 140 pounds. Congratulations. And, um... My been? husband is so insecure that uh, I can't take it any. I just can't take the pressure from him anymore. I have to go. It's got to so be done. We got to. So you lost 140 pounds. Now you're getting divorced. Yeah, because it's the, <laughs> <laughs> he he can't take the insecurity. I th I think he was feeding me on purpose, prior right. to. You know, he was always that like you know. Happen. The jealousy is coming he, out. He, he, 
he can't keep a job, but he sure can make me a sandwich, which was I didn't need, you know? All right, there you go, Dominic. Uh, Debbie, can I ask you a question? I hung up on her. Who needs it? Uh, well, but you I know what? Was your grandmother? After was your mother fat? How much your aunts? After 18 years, actually, a friendship with you and someone who I've always felt loved me and I loved. Oh, please. Why can't you be happy that I have a chance? I'm happy. I'm just, Robin wanted to make a bet. You want to bet on your weight, I want to bet on your marriage. <laughs> Dominic, I'm sorry. If you lose all that weight with that head of hair, you're going to start dating. You want to make a bet with me, Dominic? I am never going to. Ah, so I now you don't want to bet. bet. You're willing to bet on the ring. I'm betting on you. How about we bet on my relationship against yours with Beth? Okay, fine, but here's the thing. Ah. I haven't changed my life. You have. I'm not the one. I'm telling you this is going to be very life-altering. It is. And I'm saying it's not going to survive. Your marriage isn't going to survive. That's all. How will you stop putting a kind of, what's the matter with you? So then bet me. Then give me a bet. You want to know the real truth? Give me a bet. What is the truth? I'm going to tell you the real truth. The real truth. Give me a bet. I'm gay. Is that you? (laughs) I'm gay. (laughs) The real truth. How much you want to bet, Robin, since he won't take action? I'll bet you. $500, Five hundred dollars, Dominic will Got still it. be married. Two years. What's today's Two day? Years. Can I take that? Uh, action? Today is the what of July? Twenty ninth. Twenty ninth of July. Okay. Can I get? You're on. Five hundred. Fred, you want? I want a five hundred on. All right, another five hundred. I'm gonna make a lot of money, Dominic. If you leave your no, wife, you I'm won't. killing you, so you won't see. Pay me now. <laughs> if he leaves me, I'll be suing him. Leslie. Be prepared. Be very prepared for the new Dominic. I think the relationship that changes where both spouses are heavy and then one loses a lot well, of weight and then the other person Well, you can heavy. hope. Let me ask you something. Right? I mean, I'm telling you, Do- you're going to become more and more suspicious of Dominic as he loses the weight. Dominic is going to start getting attention from people. Like That's never right. I'm going to buy a porch speedster. I'm, I'm telling hoping you. it doesn't happen. I'm hoping he can withstand the pressure. Leslie, get out now. Dominic's going to lose 100, 130 pounds in a house. <laughs> See, I'm trying to decide well, whether... The has improved. I mean, look at all the money that's freed up for me to go shopping instead of... There you go. <laughs> Leslie, get out now. Yeah. Get out. I'm telling you. How you, I'm trying to decide whether to I'm bet. I'm looking for another 300 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need another big boy, yeah. Do you, I mean, you do, big are you excited, Leslie? I mean, because maybe Dominic will look normal. Yeah, actually, I, I'm really excited. And, uh, you know, I've, actually, I've lost weight because now there's no food in the house. Right. So I'm really happy. Yeah, because Dominic used to he schlep Leslie there. around to all she these restaurants. To go to all right. these dinners. Yeah. I mean, you guys both know, I, I walk into a restaurant, I want to have fish and salad. And he's like, no, let's have lasagna, let's have the pasta, let's yeah. have this. And then I was gaining weight, so right. this is great for me, too. You know, first of all, somebody called last week and said that, uh, I don't know if this is true, John told me on the way in that Dominic was yelling at Leslie at a gas station. Oh, yeah, what? that was true. But um, Dominic told me it was true. <laughs> I said, please, Nichols Balls. No, on? Leslie and Dominic were having some fight at a gas station. No, no, no. <laughs> it was an argument, big deal. Big but deal. I don't know whether to bet on this or not, because seriously, Dominic just got divorced three years ago, so he had to give away a ton of money. Does Dominic no, he didn't. He had to print up. Oh, he did. So yeah. Dominic's got enough yeah, money. There's always money. He can afford to get divorced again. Oh, oh yeah. Saying. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Then I'm, I'll take another 500 All right. I <laughs> trust you, Dominic. Leslie, keep your eye on him. Please. I beg of you. Yeah, well. Let me tell you something. Between Dominic and Leslie, I like Leslie much better than Dominic. Oh, she's Thank a sweetheart. I love her. Now. What's I love not her. to like? I'm sorry to see her in so much pain. I'm sorry, oh. Leslie. Listen, we all make bad choices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you. I'd like to bet $500 that Dominic kills a guy on a dinghy in the Sag Harbor. <laughs> Larry, what's up? Oh, my God. What's up? How are you, God? Listen, uh, Dominic, you're going to be dead in about five years. <laughs> I'm serious. My Why? friend, my friend had the same thing, and he died five years later. Of of the surgery? Of the surgery, yes. He oh, was yeah. 425 pounds, and he just died a couple months ago, and he was about 150 pounds. Yeah, but he looked great. Yeah. How do you die? How and, did he and... die? He died of cancer. They left a sponge in it first. Oh. Geez. Then he had to go back and take it out, and then he just he had so much cancer throughout his body. Yeah, but doesn't mean Dominic would that get cancer. That doesn't give you cancer. Well, all I know is every time I see somebody have this operation, they die. Really? I'm serious. Nah, uh, come on. Al Roker didn't die. And uh, Carney Will Wilson? Be. Sharon o- Oh, Sharon Osbourne got cancer. Yeah, yeah see? Yeah. Okay. He got bone cancer. All right. My friend got bone cancer, and it went through his whole body. Maybe because they can't get enough nutrition. Yeah, because look what you're doing to your body. You're just starving yourself. Yeah. You're basically starving yourself. 
I mean, I'm six foot tall. I'm 140 pounds because I, I watch what I eat. Everybody in my family is 300 pounds. Hmm. You know? You just got to watch what you eat. Yeah. All right. Listen, God, can I make a shout out? You're going to call me God. I guess I have to let you. Okay. It's my new pizzeria, Paisano's in Middletown. There you go. Thank Thanks, you. God. Bye. Is Dominic gone? Yeah, I, yeah, he he, he, he had to go. He threw Leslie on the phone. Okay. All right, so there you have it. There's a bit of gossip.